G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video and uh, I'm currently riding a pig because pigs are awesome. <laughs> Get off. You sit there mate. Um, I really should have made that that uh, zoom avoid pig saddle thing. You know what, I'm done with this song. Um, now today I want to show you something cool I've found out. Uh, that is um, that we have we have varying signal strength with music discs so that allows us to do some pretty cool and different things so like that one works I've got a few others here each of them has a different signal strength so that won't work that won't work nothing else will work now I'm gonna go to creative now and explain to you the, how why this doesn't work and the concept behind it alrighty so now we're in creative mode and we can learn about the concept behind it I have here all the music discs which I'm going to collect all at once. And I'm going to show you that they all have different signal strengths. So this one here gives us that output. So let's put that... We have that one in there. They're breeding. <laughs> then we have this one, which gives us a signal strength of 1. As you can see, it's yellow. Let's put that in there. We're done with that. And so on and so forth. Alrighty, so now let's look at different ways we can use the signal strength that we've got out of this output. So here's our jukebox, and uh, we've got a music disc in there at the moment, which is currently inverted. This here is my inverter. Um, basically, what we have to do is add a, uh, a powered uh, comparator with four redstone behind it. I put that there so that it wouldn't interact with the, uh, the comparator there. And when these two combine, it actually, on minus, uh, with uh, the four there, it actually inverts what you had without losing the signal strength. So for example, rather than just simply adding a torch and you'd have a, another signal strength 15, this will give you the opposite of what you had before. So for example, we had here a signal strength of 1, 2, 3, yeah, 3. Now here, we've got the maximum being 12 for, for uh, music discs, um, and there's three left over at the end there. So those are the three that would have that were inverted. So now the signal strength has been swapped from 3 to 9. So, and likewise, this one's a maximum. So this is a 12 signal strength normally. And it comes out as a 0 here because it's on negative. Oh, because it's coming from around here, that's why it uh, doesn't reach the end there, because it's starting here, not there. And you get the idea. So you can change between them, or that's the way to invert the signal, or to change to swap the signal strength, not really... In uh, it's not really an inversion because they're both on, but it is kind of because it's um, the signal strength here has been swapped for the signal strength here. So it's a way to uh, to to swap it for I guess its opposite. So it's it is kind of an inversion. And yes, yeah, so now I want to talk about this one. Now this is essentially Cube Hamster's um, red coder. I'll explain how it works and how to build it in a moment. Let me first just show you that it does work. Let's chuck this one in there. And as you can see, we have an output of 5. And that's the only one active. Even though these one, these repeaters are all on, this is the only one that's active. Now the reason that is the case is because, once again, signal strength, but the signal is actually longer underneath. And, uh, sorry, shorter underneath. It's longer on top and shorter underneath. And because it's shorter, um, it has basically some torches there's torches that these uh, this wire inverts, which are activating pistons. Now, when it inv when these torches are turned off, the pistons retract, and the repeater can no longer go through. Now, this can be done in reverse up the top. If you were to have, for example, pistons coming from the top down, um, that would also work. But yes, yeah, so basically, all you've got here is the signal goes underneath that block, half slab, and then just runs along here for 12 blocks as far as I can from counting this initial block. So 11 is, you, sorry, yeah, 12 is your your full output because this last one doesn't, the signal strength underneath gets to there, but it, it can't do anything here anyway. So, uh, yeah, you wouldn't actually need the other repeaters there or anything underneath if you were just using a signal strength of 12. But yeah, the, op the uh, uses of these things are endless. Like, you could use a, it for a combination lock, as I said before, uh, whatever, there's so many cool things, or even for different functions of a system. Um, it's another way, like similar to binary, cause, because uh, essentially binary, what it is, is addresses um, a four-bit uh, four uh, binary sequence. There's 16 different possibilities, and this one there's 12. So it's another way of, um, another alternate uh, 
system that can be used like binary, uh, which is awesome. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't get over how cool it is. And for I'm, I apologize if anyone has come up with this in the past. I haven't seen anything like this. Uh, I did a, a, a brief search. I didn't look for hours, but I didn't see anything like it. So essentially you can continue to, you can use whatever signal strength that you have. And that works for all of the music discs. There's 12 all up. I've just got a few repeats in here. Uh, let's go with one we don't have. I think we've used all of those. Let's use this other black one. Whoa, fraps. And yeah, so on and so forth. So yeah, I uh, hope this has been helpful. I hope this is this uh, is useful for people who are making large systems. This is actually a lot more compact than a, a binary thing, um, and it's not four bit or eight bit, but I mean, so four bit or three bit as it would come between, because three bit you'd have uh, nine different uses, counting the zero, and uh, with the four bit you'd have sixteen, and this is twelve. So. You, it's kind of in between, and but it's it's very compact for uh, an input and output system, and whatever else. But yeah, hope hope you guys can use this, and I uh, hope this has been helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching. My name is Stevo, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there.